Hi, my name is Max and today I'm going to give you a quick insight into Math 42. Let's get started with an easy problem. When I enter, for example, x equals x plus 1 divided by x, simple equation, you see that we immediately give you suggestions on what you could do with it. For example, solve the equation for x or cross multiply. When I now click on solve equation for x, we get a step-by-step -step solution of the problem. As you see here, cross multiply, separate variable terms, uh, complete the square, down to x, uh, x1 and x2, which are the solution. That in itself is good, but not great. You have to go a step further, because every single student has a different problem. So if I don't understand, for example, completing the square, I can click on this little triangle and see the substep. And now really the substep of the substep. Down to the lowest level which is 4 plus 1 equals 5. And from there on everyone can work his way up. Everyone. Now, another problem that most students has it, have is that maybe they haven't been in class, they missed the introduction to something new and then don't understand what the notion actually means. Which means that you have to give them an explanation. For example, what is completing the square? In Math 42 I can click on it and now get an explanation with the method. And if I don't understand a notion within this explanation I can click for example on equation, on variables, and go deeper and deeper into it if I really want to understand it. What this means is that we, that we basically have a math textbook behind this. A gigantic math textbook. Now, the next feature I'm really proud of, which is very important for students, is that you have to visualize problems. You have to give them a beautiful image to relate to. For example, here. And now I can, oh, there's an asymptote, what is an asymptote? Oh, here's an intersection point, oh, here's a root, etc., etc. Always smooth, always beautiful, really impressive. That's one part of Math 32. The next part addresses a big problem. Let's say it's Saturday afternoon and on Monday morning I have a test. What is important now is to see if I'm up to the task if I'm good at something, to assess myself. That's why we implemented the following, the assessment center. The assessment center, which is, which is composed of three sections, training, tests, and scores, where depending on a topic and a level, I can see my, my actual level, uh, my progress in scores, and really train myself. So, for example, here, let's look at another exercise. Now I can solve it. Now the thing is, my answer was wrong. And there is a really big problem with multiple choice tests, is that if I get something wrong, I never see my mistake. I never know where I was wrong. What we provide you with is the following. If you got something wrong, click on Show Solution, Simplify, for example, here the expression, and now compare it with what you have written on the sheet beside your, your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Which means that you really can see where your actual problem was and improve yourself on this specific point. I think that's really amazing. What's really important is the next thing. Is that right now we're available in four languages. English, Spanish, German and French. Of course, you can change the decimal places, you can change the font size, and that's the whole functionality of Math 42. What we do with it, or what we believe in, is that we change math education. We want everyone to understand it. We want everyone to be free of super expensive private tutoring and free of frustration when they come to think about math. Thanks for your attention.